So I'm continuing my series of mass retro reviews with season one, episode 20, the Army Navy game. So the Army Navy are playing game. And football, that stuff. That's the background information. What's really going on is while they were trying to listen to the game over on the radio, the camp starts getting shelled. And apparently they're being shelled from all directions. And eventually one unexploded bomb lands in the camp. So they call, you know, up the chain of command because they want to figure out who, what bomb this is and blah, 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 all that stuff. Well, it's not an army bomb or a North Korean bomb or a Chinese bomb or a Soviet bomb. So they're to told to call the Navy. And the Navy f figures out that it's not a Navy bomb, it's a CIA bomb. Of course, the CIA has its own bombs. They quite literally make that joke in the episode. And wouldn't surprise me even today the CIA still has its own bombs. Well, anyhow, man, what would be neat if kind of Flag actually appeared in this episode? He hasn't appeared yet, but this would have been a cool episode for him to appear in. But then again, he also claims he's CID, CIA. He claims he's a lot of things, but that's irrelevant to this episode. So eventually they got to disarm it. Well, guess what happens when they disarm it? They, uh, they fail. But don't worry, this entire time the nerves are exploding. And it's just a bomb filled with a bunch of propaganda leaflets. Of course. So all that climatic tension that was built up to this episode. So Klingo getting out of the dresses, putting on the same suit he was drafted in. Characters, you know, trying to come with terms that potentially they won't make it and all that. All that tension, all that buildup evaporates away. And th that's really an effect of MASH being a comedy. But at the same time, you all had all that drama. And it was still there. They still went through and experienced those things. And in real life, you can experience lots of serious stuff. And then realize after the conclusion of that event that, hey, that's not as serious as I thought it was. But sometimes doing the thing, you don't realize what it is. And it Again, it's the CIA just told them, like, oh, by the way, this specific bomb is a propaganda bomb. It won't actually harm anyone unless it lands on your head. And they probably wouldn't have been as nervous. But they were still being actively shelled with actual live ordnance. So, yeah. But really, this episode is, you know, just a series of, you know, fun jokes that, are try that the characters are doing to try to alleviate tension. There's some obviously humor... This moment's like when a shell fragment um, impacts Henry's office and destroys the phone and he's bit out of it. That's intended to be more humorous for us. But the character, that's serious. Like somebody has actually been injured. Um, but there are also, you know, if, also some, you know, when they're making jokes themselves to try to alleviate that tension. But you can tell most of the jokes is for us, the audience, that I does think put the episode a little bit. Still a strong episode, good episode, fun episode. But I think I would have loved it a little bit more if most of the jokes were the characters trying to alleviate the tension that they were feeling rather than trying to alleviate the tension for us, the audience. That still would be the effect, but I would have loved it. I think it would have been a much stronger episode, stronger story, if the jokes were being told by the characters rather than being told about the characters for only us, the audience. The joke should have been for both the characters and us. But that's just my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like and share. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date on all my latest content. You can also stay up to date on my content by following me on social media. I have a link tree down in the description which has all my social media links on it. Additionally, if you would like to support the channel, you can become a channel member and get early access to all my videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the force be with you. Always.